Hey guys, day 68 of Around the World for Free. We're here in a Himba village named Ahungumore in northern Namibia. So yesterday I finally got a chance to see the orthopedic surgeon. She said I have to go old school and get plaster of Paris. Yeah. Now I'll put another one on for you. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. You're going to have a little bit of a hot sun because you won't be able to grip properly with your right hand. I shouldn't try and push it too tight. I mean, there's enough space in there. She hooked me up with a hard cast and let me know that I can't fly anywhere for the next three weeks on a commercial flight because of the pressure. So there you have it. I'm landbound in Africa for the next yeah, few weeks. So after our awesome day in the stand of extreme adventure, we clearly weren't going to let a little accident keep us down. Dwayne, of course, had another brilliant idea. Cessna flight up to the Himba village in northern Namibia. So the flight started out smooth enough. Awesome. We're going deep, boys and girls. We took off. It was a nice, easy takeoff. We're flying over some mines, a uh, uranium mine. And then uh, all of a sudden, the guy starts taking us down a little lower. So we're lower. getting a little lower. Getting a little lower again. We're barely, like, scraping by some of these dunes. <laughs> I looked to my right and uh, the dunes were actually higher than, than we were in the plains. We were about 10 feet above the ocean floor and I did reach for the bag. hardcore extreme action Cessna flight. And then you're seeing all these wild animals, like that huge sea lion colony. We flew by some elephants. Oh my gosh, a baby! Baby elephants! Probably the coolest flight I've ever been on. I mean, that's definitely the way to fly, so thank you, Dwayne. We touched down in Opuo and got our first sighting of a Himba woman just walking down the street. These women look like warriors. We met Aja, who was kind enough to bring us here to this village. This is the original Himba uh, town. In a colonial time, when the, the Germans start war, we spread. When the, the, the country got independent, so they start doing their villages. Do you guys have more <laughs> than one wife? Or is it one? Yes, the men, the men have more than one wife. So oh. it, it depends on how the man is rich. Cows, goats, then he can afford. So he pays for his woman? Yes, but not with money exchange with cows. So how many cows am I worth? No, it's, it's like, it's the, the decision between the parents. If you had to just make a judgment and, and <laughs> estimate how many cows that Parvati would be worth. No, maybe four cows. Four cows? <laughs> yes. But most of the men are changing, you know. Changing what? The clothes. They are, they are wearing uh, Western style, but the women are still in culture. Wearing skin. The men, they are driving cars, uh, having cell phones, oh, yeah. computers, because of the life. Supplies loaded up, ready to go see some Himba. So before we got out here to this Himba community, let's go shopping. All right, let's do it. We were talking with Vilma back at Camp Harmony, and she let me know that it's important when you come to visit the Himbas that you bring some goods. It's customary to offer the elderly people of the village gifts, which is normally sugar and sweet stuff. Dwayne kindly sponsored the shopping trip for maize, flour, some goods that the Himba really enjoy. What kid doesn't love a lollipop? Who do we take our offering to? The woman of the chief. Oh. So we're here at the Himba village, but we can't actually just bust in here and with our cameras and stuff. So we talked to Aja, and he's going to talk with the chief's family and see if it's OK if we come in. It's exciting. I've never been up here. This is really unique. Moro. Moro. On the legs, you see, there's two lines. It means that Himba is having more than one baby. So the red mixture, can you tell us what it's made out of? What is this? It's the skin of a cow. Skin of a cow? Yes. So on top, the red color with butter and ash. Ash from the fire. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is not original. Original is, is from the root, maybe halfway. Oh, okay. But just a, a small one. So the rest is an extension. Oh. This oh. they buy in town, then they mix. 
Wow. How many girls like you go to school in the village? Three. Three, Three. persons. I want to help my parents. You want to help them with what? A doctor. You're going to be a doctor? Mm. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Here, you can help me. One for you. Here you go. Did those two get some? These were the original Himba house. This is amazing. So this is the cow dung mixture in between that's hardened. And we have a fireplace right here. Some animal skins for clothing. Their pillow is like, is a couple of jars. I mean, you would think because it's made out of cow dung that it would stink in here, but it doesn't smell bad at all. We're gonna go meet baby Dwayne. What up? Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. A new little one. She's about to take a bath right now, so she has to collect all of the items that she needs to take her bath. Oh, it smells good. That is perfume. The rock, they need to crush it. The butter, you, you can just smell it. Thick, creamy butter. So she, so she crushed this rock and yes. made that powder. So this can protect them against the sun, but their skin, their skin don't have uh, hair. It's nice. It feels like soft. It's like lotion. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Bye -bye. Very beautiful. Bye -bye. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. So now, since the accident, I'm completely landlocked, and I'm going to have to be traveling around Africa by car. So will you guys please write in? I mean, if you have an uncle, an aunt, a cousin, a brother, a grandmother, anyone that you know, a friend that's in Africa, write into cbs.com slash world. Send them my information, get me in touch with them, and uh, we can get me moving through this great continent because it's going to be a tough one to make that happen. We have a few more things to bring in, some flour, some maize, some sugar. So I think we're going to kick it here for a little while. We're enjoying this place. Wayne, will you help us carry this? There we go. All right, we got stuff.